four here. France versus Sweden. 2-1 in favor of Sweden. We're starting here round four on Summit. Cross bonds are enabled. Flight control. France is starting as Marines. And we see Sweden as aliens starting in data core. They are doing a 2-2 split. I'm sorry, a 1-3-1. Yep, 2-2-1. Two, two, one. One. This is one up there in, uh, in Atrium. Oh, yes. For the aliens. It's 2-2-1 two, two, a Marine. It looks like Ray is kind of... Oh! Ray just almost picked Wiry in that vent. Very nice. They are going to stop going that way because they know Eagle Eye and Ray are there. They're relocating down to sub access. Going to try to push Computer Lab from there. 90% built on that power node. All of Sweden converging onto Ray and King Yo. King Yo taking down Wiry. Oh, wow. Very nice. <laughs> there were meds dropped, but not enough. Not quite enough to keep him alive against the entire alien team. Uh, mines have been researched and are done. Cracker is also up, but we have not seen a shell drop. Reactor core and ventilation have been dropped by the alien teams. Heracles and Eagle Eye moving in through pipe junction. Sniping down the ventilation. RT Wiry coming up right behind, seeing that that's happening. But he's going to move off to another location of the map. We see one Marine headed up into Atrium, while two are heading back into computer lab while that RT, while that harvester goes down in ventilation. Yep, well done on the early RT pressure. Looks like they're pushing up in towards data core now. This is what they need to, go to do. They're going to try to pick the base RT. The, yes, this is what France yep. needs to do. They need to get in the data core, they need to get into Sweden's base and really start applying this pressure in here. And there they go, starting to take down eggs. There's only three eggs in there. Scrime, he jumps out of the hive. Base rush on flight control. A counter rush. Oh, oh wow. So counter Ray and King Yo are pulling right back. There are mines, so these aliens are trying to dance around them. Well, good Why job here. Mine? King Yo and Ray coming up around the corner, stopping that rush. Meanwhile, Eagle Eye and Heracles are in data core. Oh, Why Heracles does go please, down. Heracles. Eagle Eye picks Scrim. They need to get more. They Oh, they need to get someone in there right now oh. to support Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye did get the carousel before he was picked. Is under so that is 15 res down. Skugan is working on the Crossroads RT, uh, while Dames is working, going by himself into Reactor Core. But Wiry and Proko are both pushing in after him, hunting him down. Skugan and Bisma taking down that RT there in Crossroads, taking down and rolling over Ray. Seeing Dames up against Croco and Wiry in Atrium. Oh, Dames wow. does go down. Yeah, I mean Sweden. So ventilation sub RTs. Go ahead, Red Dog. Sorry, Sweden does a really good job so far in these early engagements. Um, I'm really liking seeing their play. I mean, they're a little bit below right now, but look at that. They're, they're really turning it on now. They just won another engagement there in Crossroads. Won that one up in Atrium. Heracles did pick, pick the sub access RT that uh, was dropped, not fully grown. Ventilation is still growing. It's 82%. So we'll see if he's going to be able to push in there and pick that as well. I just, you know, they're just waiting for him. Yeah, and, and you know what? France, I, I know that they're expanding out right now, taking those RTs. Uh, one in Atrium and one in Crossroads, but right after they take these, they need to get two sub, or I'm sorry, data core, uh, or start pressuring the RTs in reactor core and ventilation. I I would not, as as I've seen, you know, as France, and have already gone through some rounds with Sweden and maybe seen some replays of how Sweden plays. I wouldn't allow Sweden to be on the offense. <laughs> Like, I, I would probably apply a, yeah. a lot of pressure and tons of pressure to kind of keep them on the defense all the time because Sweden on the offense is just a very, very, very dangerous, as we can see throughout these matches yeah. that we play. Heracles and Eagle Eye are working on the ventilation RT. They might actually get that down. Seeing Dames coming through in Computer Lab. Going to try to slap Skugan off of there. We saw Carapace just got completed. Armor 1 is completed. Weapons 1 is coming up. Dams oh, does Dames take down Skugan uh, Skugan. Very nice. And the ventilation RT is done. Heracles and Eagle Eye again in Pipe Junction, applying pressure there. Atrium has been sisted to. King Yo, the only one in there. Oh, he picks one. He's got like a one and a half skulls left. Oh, I thought 
he was does get wiped. Get one more. Yeah. He only is getting the power to 99 in ventilation. So armor one is already up. Weapons one is about two thirds done. This might this might be good. I mean, they get it to 99, and then they research phase gates later, drop one real quick, and try to do a pinch on data core. I mean, uh, a phase gate there in ventilation uh, is pretty powerful. If they can get one up in reactor core as well, um, then that's really powerful because they can launch attacks to data core and to atrium. Yep, they can. Uh, if they get it up early enough, they can also keep the aliens from being able to drop that second hive up in like atrium and sub. They would be forced to go for a crossroads drop to have to clear one of those gates, which would be such a pain to do. See Dames down in computer lab alone up against Skugan, and there was another uh, skulk that got taken out there by Eagle Eye. Crossroads RT is under attack. Bismuth and Wiry taking that down. Uh, King Yo and Ray are up north in Atrium working on the alien RT. So Marines so far have lost six RTs. Aliens have lost four. I mean, this could still very much be anyone's game. And neither team has been, you know, coming out overly... Yeah, kind of making... You know, As uh, winners, on no map. shoddy rushes this game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it has been very back and forth. See, armor two has started being uh, researched right now. France down on two extractors, getting up a third one right now. Back up in computer lab. Sys chain has been reestablished down in ventilation, moving into sub access. Eric by himself in crevice. Oh, he does take me one down, but Kingo and Ray are both pushing in. This is not good. We're getting into the seven minute mark and, you know, okay, so fades... Not a single lurk. Fades have been, yeah, no lurks. Fades have been um, delayed a bit uh, because the, everyone's still sitting in their mid thirties. Um, so it's been a good RT harassing game for France to delay these fades, but they need to close this before the fade plosion happens because when that happens and it looks, because they're not doing too, they're not doing lurks, um, you know, in this early, in the late early game. So, basically, they're gonna do their five fade push again. I don't know how that ended <laughs> in that last round. Yeah. The shotguns are already started, so... Well, and they're in better position this time, right? Because last time when those fades came out, at this time, right, they had... They had weapon zero and armor one. <laughs> so yep. they do have armor two, yeah. weapons one, and shotties that are about to be done. So they're a little bit in a better position to handle phase. They are through. currently egg locking. Very nice. Well, they're currently that. egg locking data core and working on the carapace shell. Heracles and King Yo in data core. All the aliens are running home to clear their hive. The carousel was lost, though. Well, we're seeing all the aliens were alive. They come streaming back in as a group and just eat them alive. <laughs> but while they're off the field, we got Dan's doing a little bit of RT. Meanwhile, Eagle Eye's taking me up sub. He's dropped mine, mines under his feet, so that, yep, there we go. He got the RT, he got an alien with his mines, and then he was cleared. It's immediately redropped, and King Yo is pushing in right now with a shotgun. Nice. <laughs> Here comes Heracles as well. Yes, Crossroads is going to go down right now. So Crossroads RT is down. We got one Marine up in Atrium that's taken down. Uh, the Sis and the Harvest is there, but Croco is coming in. He's gonna go up against Ray. He's gonna be backed up by Wiry, who comes streaming in. And Ray looks like he's gonna have definitely a fight on his hands. He does have a shotgun. He does notice he skulks in here. Nice job! I need a man, oh. oh, Ray goes down. Eagle Eye did clear Skugan down in ventilation, and now he's working on the RT. It's down to 30%. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to get it all the way dead. Well, axing it with Scoogan pushing back in for him. 
Both Does teams he's fighting really hard node? for resources right now. Both of them yeah. are, are uh, both teams are doing a really good job. Res denying um, each side. Sweden now on just one harvester with one being grown. But France on two with one two. being built up in crevice. So, I mean, and, and fades are about to come on the field in the next few minutes here, which is definitely going to change the game. We are 10 minutes in, and the uh, Marines have lost 9 RTs, and the Aliens have lost 12 RTs. Oh, poor King Yo up in Reactor Core by himself. With a shot and three Aliens coming in for him. <laughs> he does get cleaned. I'm seeing a lot of solo marines um, around this map um, or so yeah. so far in this game which is kind of odd to see usually obviously they have the buddy system um, but uh, if they if they actually start grouping together I mean they are such France is such good shots that they can really start bringing the pain to Sweden 48 res for Kroko and Skugen 47 for B1 it's so pretty close on fades here Sweden on oh, two yeah. RTs. And a base going up in Atrium. Armory going down. And they're now sitting pretty on five RTs. The observatory was just dropped. So we might be seeing face tech here soon. I mean, it's 11 minutes into the game, so... Eagle Eye and King Yo Wire. moving from Computer Lab in... Uh, I'm sorry, from their base into Computer Lab. Why are you sitting on the ceilings? Oh, gets taken out! right when they pass underneath him but the damage was done the the rt was taken down brand harris is pushed back in react core but that rt was not redropped by the alien commander so they are just running in and killing cysts because there's nothing there for them ran heracles doing a good job cleaning up the north side of the map they just cleaned out reactor core Fades are out. Skugan is a fade on the map. We got Kroko as an egg as well. He just popped out. Oh, man. There's going to be fades all over the place pretty soon. Phase tech just finished, though. Maybe a phase gate up in reactor core? Oh, sub. You guys are seeing the view from King Yo. They are welding each other. Looks we like do have a phase gate going up go. in reactor core. This is really good. Yep. This is going to give them a great pinch on the hive here. If Sweden, though, can take out his Marines and hold on to these fades and not lose them, gonna have, I mean, then they're going to have the upper hand. But uh, we are up against shotgun, weapon one, armor two, Marines with pretty good shots, too. Oh, oh wow. this is a big push. The gate is not built in flight control. So if there were any oh. Marines in base, they're not going to be able to phase through until like, it's built. Yep. So that is done. So, that is definitely going down. Wow, we got all The aliens four. are back down to one RT. So they have three on the field. Wiry at 50, Bismuth at 47. So they can basically have five in the next bit or so. I mean, they have, they're, like you said, they have one harvester right now. So that's going to take quite, uh, just a little bit <laughs> to get that out. Eagle Eye and King Yo waiting in ventilation, probably waiting for a phase gate drop. They're waiting for that resource. One more tick and they'll have it. And there it is. They pulse what? the power. This two has been started. Oh my god, here comes all the fades into this ventilation. Shotgun blast going everywhere. Four 65. Marines in here. Ugh. Really good job. Fades are all forced to pull out. It's 14 minutes in. We have not seen a second hive drop. Currently, the, uh, the aliens can't even afford to drop a second hive. They lost a carousel twice. Actually, I think it was just a shell once and a carousel the second time. Heracles is rebuilding sub while Complab is eaten by Bismuth. Eagle is trying to save it. It goes down. Alright, so we got an armory up right now, going up in ventilation. King Yo and Ray, they're going to use this as a great springboard into Data Core. We got B1 and Croco taking down the RT in crevice. 
And two fades coming in to back up this push in the data core. Ranking yo are backing out. They were not gonna be able to take that hive. Yeah, wisely. They're gonna need more marines. There's three to, fades to in, run there. in there. Yeah. Heracles is working on crossroads RT. Looks like Dan's is gonna run into two fades right now up in crevice. Calling for a med pack before they even get in. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm gonna need health pretty quickly here. <laughs> 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 Alright, so. This is an egg right now. Yeah. Right next to King Yo. King Yo doing a good job. I wonder if they're gonna. Oh! Oh, they're oh, oh they do get him! Oh! It was an egg as Business a fade. Egg does go down. There it goes. Nice win, little win there. Still, fade streaming yeah. in against these uh, shotguns can be dangerous. I mean, a couple good play shots can take them out, but that did not happen. And these guys are moving into ventilation. They're going to start grinding down this phase gate. Four fades in here and a skulk. There was not much that was going to be done. There were three Marines up on the north side of the map. Well, one across, two up in Atrium. They were not in position to phase. Not much they could have done to save that. Wiry and B1 grinding down the phase gate and sub, or I'm sorry, the RT and sub access, and we see two Eagle Eye and Dames uh, in Croco Atrium. Ah, and Skugan. Yep. These, uh, these phase have to be backing out. I do not want to get too close to those shotguns. Base gets up in crossroads, however. Yeah, I, you know what? This is what I was afraid of. The fade plosion would happen. Sweden mid, you know, mid game is is has proven to be extremely strong. Oh wow, nice job! Fade goes down there in computer lab in front of you. Well done. They can knock out these fades. They could have a chance, but still, phase gate up in crossroads. King Yo getting harassed. He's gonna go down, and they're gonna grind down this phase gate. Three fades on the field. Ray is pushing back in from down south. Oh, here come the fades. Great, they have great saved that gate. There. Oh, pinch from Eagle Eye and Dams. Oh, man, oh! Dima goes down. Wow. From the pinch from Reactor Core. Very yeah, nice. Well done. And that was just right in the back as he slams against the wall. Good job, France. Yeah. So, a bunch of fades down. I mean, we only have two left on the field, Kroko and Skugan. And, you know, being resource starved at the start time, they've only had, uh, you know, two or three harvesters this entire game. Heracles is on a sea of med packs. Does <laughs> still get taken down by those two fades. I need a med pack King Yo now fighting in computer lab for his life. Oh, Skugan solo. Oh, oh! Skugan barely manages to escape with his life. Yeah. Croco was also very low. All right. So in reactor core, we it's got Eagle back Eye. Reactor. Yeah, putting up the phase gate there, holding that down. Bismuth does see that happen. So they got good map, you know, phase gate map control right now. They basically locked with reactor core crossroads. Um, they locked down that kind of section of the map, the northern section. We got Ray and Heracles applying pressure in sub access. Almost every Marine has a shotgun right now. Weapons too. Skugan. Very, very late second hive. Oh! Eight oh! and a half minutes. Right down! Froko down in sub access! The second hive drop. Wow. They are just grinding down these fades. One left. France might actually have a chance at this. Yeah, it looks like uh, Eagle Eye actually picked the carapace shell yet again. That is the third shell total on the second carapace shell. 
You know, the France is playing it, you know, playing this really smart right now. I mean, now they have they have shotguns. They're going in in groups. Um, these fades are, you know, coming in, and basically, it's hard for them to blink in. It's hard to blink into three shotguns and and attempt to try to take some. Take Especially when you down. don't have blink. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Shadow step into three <laughs> shotguns. Thank you. But you know, two yeah. two shotgun blasts, two three shotgun blasts. You are done. <laughs> Now two more, uh, one marine going down in data core. Who was harassing there? Their new hive sub access, 75% grown. Oh, and Croco goes down, and we got a good game. Great job, France. Wow, we are 2-2. Really well played. Sweden looked like they were going to. Uh, Sweden looked like they were going to take it, and then as they started losing phase with those great shots from France, um, it just started going downhill from there. Great job, France! Winning a marine round up against a fade plosion. They played that definitely by the book. Decoy is internet is crapping out. That was great. There she is. <laughs> yeah, and, and I apologize, guys. Here, um, we know that there is there's uh, overlap from uh, decoy and I.